اصرف عن آیات الذين يتکبرون في الارض اللہ ڈیکلیرڈ ایٹ دیٹ ویری ٹائم دیٹ آئی ول ٹرن اوے دوز پیپل ہو آر ایروگنٹ ہاٹی پراؤڈ ان دس ورلڈ آئی ول ٹرن دیئر فیسز اوے فرام مائی آیات فرام مائی ریولیشنز فرام مائی سائنس بغیر الحق بیکاز دیر ایروگنٹ دے آر پراؤڈ ود آؤٹ ہیونگ اینی ریزن اینی بیسز وہی یار کل آیا تل آئی یو بے اینڈ ایون اف دی سی آل دی سائنس their demands of all miracles are met they are not going to believe in them when yara sabila rushde la yatakhizuha sabila and if the path of success and righteousness is shown to them clearly and they see it they are not going to follow it because they don't have any intention for that in the malamalu bin niyat they are not going to follow it la yatakhizuha sabila they won't take it as their path when yara sabila alghayya yatakhizuha sabila And if see, you know, they pass the path of wickedness and error, they take it, they adopt it. So this is actually the intentions. As is, there goes, you know, a very famous hadith, very fundamental hadith. And most of the muhaddisin, you know, they, have, they begin with their collections of ahadith with this hadith. And the narrator is Hazrat Umar radiallahu ta'ala. The Prophet said, إِنَّمَا الْعَمَالُ بِالنِّيَاتِ وَإِنَّمَا لِكُلِّمْ رِئِمَا نَوَا everything depends upon the intention of the person you know this quran as we have read in the very beginning in the third section of suratul baqarah yudillu bihi with this quran allah sends people astray yahdi bihi kasira yudillu bihi kasira wa yahdi bihi kasira the same quran but some people get misguidance from it because their intentions are not pure they have foul intentions there in their hearts So even this Quran gives them misguidance, not guidance. Yudillu bihi kasiram wa yahdi bihi kasira. So asrafu an ayati alladhina yatakabbaruna fil ardi bighairi al-haq. Wa in yarao kull ayati la yuminu biha. Wa in yarao sabil al-rushde la yatakhizuhu sabila. Wa in yarao sabil al-ghayya yatakhizuhu sabila. Zalika bi annahum kazzabu bi ayatina wa kanu anha ghafilin. This is because they belied our signs. They have been seeing our signs in the whole of the universe. ان في خلق السماوات والارض واختلاف الليل والنهار والفلك التي تجري في البحر بما ينفع الناس وما انزل الله من السماء من ماء فاحيا به الارض بعد موتها وما صفيها من كل دابه وتصريف الرياح والسحاب المسقر بين السماء والارض لا يات لقوم يعقلون all these physical phenomena are signs signs of the greatness of allah signs of the omnipotence of allah he is omnipotent he can do anything signs of the complete wisdom of allah signs of the complete knowledge of allah all these things you know these are signs scattered around you so actually who don't look to our signs and who are you know just ghafil heedless towards them they are all their attention is focused what to eat and how to enjoy how to get more and more how to attain power and authority how to become famous so that people should bow before us should know us should point towards us hey, the person if we are striving to get these things we are we, 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 we become heedless towards the signs of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala zalik bi annahum kazzabu bi ayatina wa kanu anha ghafilin wal ladina kazzabu bi ayatina wa liqa'i al-akhirati habitat a'malu as for those who belie and reject our revelations and signs. How many times I have drawn your attention that the basic thing which is mentioned, you know, time and again is Iman bil Akhirah. If they, they don't believe in the meeting with the Lord on the Day of Judgment, if you have, you know, some belief in it, You will think twice before doing anything. You will think twice before uttering a word. I have to go to my Lord. I'll have to account for what I'm doing. I'll have to face that grand accountability of the Day of Judgment. Now you have to think twice before taking any decision in any matter. Will I be able to explain it? No. So don't do it. So this is Iman bil Akhirah. 
Even a shak- if, a, if a person, you know, he believes in Allah and all his attributes, he loves Allah, but the iman in the akhira is not strong enough. You know, this, the character of the person will not be rectified. He says, I love Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What shape this love will take? You know, all the meetings and the processions of Eid e Miladun Nabi will be there, but the character will not be there of Nabi. The character transformation comes from the Iman Bil Akhirah. That we are going to be resurrected and we shall have to stand before our Lord. Unless this is there, your actions and deeds, they will not be rectified. All their good deeds will just vanish, will go in vain. As I've said so many times, all those good deeds multiplied by zero become zero. And they are not recompensed for except for what they had been doing. Just as and after Musa had departed to Tur in his absence, his nation took to the worship of calf and they made out a calf out of the ornaments, you know. They melted the ornaments of gold and silver and from that, you know, they cast a, a, a calf. But in that calf was, it, this calf was emitting a sound as if it was mooing. From their ornaments, ijlan, the shape of a calf, jasadan, it had a body like calf, lahu khawar. A sound was emitting out of it, just as if it is mowing. Alam yarao annahu la yukallimuhum. Didn't see? Didn't they see that that calf didn't talk to them? Wala yahdihim sabila. It couldn't give them guidance for any path. It takhaduhu. They took to its worship. They took it as a, as a god. Wakanu zalimin. And they were the evil doers and the transgressors. Walamma swakata fi yadihim. Now, when they thought that we have committed a big error, some of them, not all of them. So many of them took to the worship of the calf. But some of them, you know, they realized they had done something very big, very wrong. We have in Urdu Muhavra. You know, when one realized what has happened to me, what have I done? So that is in Arabic, Sokita. Flamma Sokita fi adihim. Warao and Nahum Kabbalu, and they felt that they have gone astray. Kalu lailam yarhamna rabbuna. Wayakfir lana, lana kunan namin al khasirin. And they said, If our Lord doesn't have mercy upon us, and if He doesn't forgive us, surely we will become those who are going to lose, who will be the losers in the end. So some of them repented and they mended their ways. But what happened to the rest of them? That has been given in Surah Al-Baqarah. I'll mention it again. 